In this video, I'll be analyzing the function e1 of x equals the integral from x until infinity of e to the negative t over t dt. Okay? So, how can we analyze this? Well, let's do the McLaurin expansion for e to the negative t. So this gives us the integral from x until infinity of, and then I get the sum from n equals 0 until infinity of, now I'm going to have negative t to the n over n factorial divided by t dt. Right? Now, I'm going to make negative t to the n, negative 1 to the n, negative 1 to the n, t to the n. Okay? So then I can actually work with this. So this is going to be the integral from negative 1 until infinity of the sum from n equals 0 until infinity of, and then I'm going to have negative 1 to the n, t to the n minus 1, over n factorial dt. Okay? So this gives us, because this is absolutely convergent, I can, uh, for uh, t not equal to 0, because it's absolutely convergent, I can just switch the sum in the integral around. Okay? So, I'm going to have the integral of from x until infinity of negative 1 to the n, t to the n minus 1, over n factorial dt. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to have the sum from n equals 1 until infinity, the integral from x until infinity, negative 1 to the n, t to the n minus 1, over n factorial. And to, in order to, why I'm doing that is because now I can easily just integrate this because this can be t to the 0, which is just a constant. And I'm also going to have t to the 1, t to the 2. Those are easy to integrate. But over here is going to be when n is equal to 0, it's going to be the integral on dx plus the integral from x until infinity of natural law, uh, sorry, not natural law, 1 over t or t to the negative 1, t to the negative 1 dt, right? So then, from there, what we can do is we can say this is going to be the sum from n equals 1 until infinity of, right there, just as I told you, it's going to be negative 1 to the n, t to the n, over n times n factorial, right? And then, over there, it's going to be plus natural log of t, absolute value of t. And this is going to be evaluated from x until infinity. Now, you might think, oh, this doesn't converge at infinity. Well, you're kind of right, it doesn't. But, if you look at it in a sort of weird way, where you look at how it converges, uh, when you look at the limit as t goes to infinity of this as a whole instead of each one individually, and look at the sum individually as a, not as individual different sums, but as an entire sum, you can actually get a very specific value. It's actually going to be negative gamma. And I'll explain what gamma is later. But now we just evaluate it normally. So we get minus the sum from n equals 1 until infinity of negative 1 to the n, x to the n over n factorial, and then minus natural log absolute value of x. Okay? And this is, of course, when x is not 1. Okay? So what's gamma? Gamma is the euler mascheroni constant, gamma. And it's going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of the difference between the natural log of n and the sum in the sum of the reciprocals. 
Uh, so that's a very specific function. I'm not going to go into how you can derive that. But now we can look at a different function, which is a lot more common. And what it does is it gets rid of all the nastiness in this one. Okay, so it's going to be e i of x. What's it going to be? It's going to be the negative, the integral from negative x to infinity of e to the negative t over t dt. Okay, what's the point of doing that? Well, if I do negative e1 of negative x, right? So this is going to be the integral from x, from, sorry, negative x, negative right out there, inter, uh, to infinity of e to the negative t over t dt, right? And that's exactly that one, okay? So we can say that right there is equal to e, negative e1 of negative x, okay? Now what's the point of doing that? Well now if I plug in what e1 of x right there, so negative of it, so I get gamma, or gamma, plus the sum from n equals 1 until infinity, and I'm going to get negative 1 to the n, negative x to the n. Oh, but that just cancels out, and it becomes x to the n over n times n factorial, sorry, n times, and then plus natural log absolute value of negative x is just absolute value of x. And so that just completely got rid of all the nastiness in this one. It made it this nice and concise uh, sum with no negatives, and it's mostly positive. And it just works overall much, much better.